So this next question is a triple composition. And just like function composition, we're always going to go inside to the outside. You're going to see that I like to write my parentheses larger as they're more outer and smaller as they're more inner. That's just a thing I like to do. It's not necessary, uh, but it helps me kind of organize what matches up with what. All right, first up, h of x. So we got square root x up here. So it's f of g of just square root x. All right. Next up's the g function. What is g? g takes the input and subtracts 4. Because I'm about to do function composition, I'm going to feed g a box, and it's going to go box minus 4. And all we're going to do, put that square root x in place of the box right here. So it's going to be square root x minus 4. Now, I took care of the g of, but what I did not take care of is the f of part. So that still remains. We're on our last step here. So I'm going to write f. What does it do to a box? x to the fourth. Oops, that should be box to the fourth plus 9. All right, so that will be square root x minus 4, that's in the box, to the fourth power plus 9. And we don't really use boxes to group in math. We use parentheses, we're very civilized. All right, now to simplify or not simplify, well, just to warn you, by simplifying, you're going to multiply this across itself four times, which I have no desire to do right now. If you know the binomial expansion theorem, that would be a way better way to expand this. Uh, but we don't need to expand it. This question did not, did it say, didn't say anything about expanding or anything like that. So this should work in your, well, without the equal sign, that should work as your answer here. If it doesn't, you can expand it, but again, that's gonna take a little while. 